That's what happens when you wear f***ing spandex pants. <laughs> I just ripped my pants going down here trying to pick up this damn tile. Now I have a reason to buy more jeans. He rolled the punches, man. <laughs> All right, my people, we are at Floor and Decor today. And the purpose of today's video is to walk you guys through the flooring that we're picking for our house in Frederick, show you guys the benefits and the, the downsides to all the, the different flooring selections that we pick. But most importantly, show you guys how much it's gonna cost us to get the flooring done on this job. Now, I have a rough estimate, but the point of, again, of this video is to walk you guys through exactly how much it's gonna cost, what we're putting into this property, and the questions that you should be asking to all the professionals that work in this store. So if you guys find any value from this video, please like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, run the play and let's get it. All right, so the first floor tile that we're getting for this house is this penny white mosaic tile. This porcelain tile costs $2.99 per piece, actually. And a piece of this actually fits an 11 by 11 square. So here it is. And we're gonna go with about 60 square feet and this will be just the flooring in the bathroom outside of the shower so in our shower we'll have an entirely different wall tile and floor tile in the shower area so this is going to be in the master bathroom floor as you walk in you see the vanity and in the toilet area so in total for this we're going to need again 60 square feet and we're going to spend around 227 dollars on this tile alone next up we got the atlassie treasure ceramic tile that's this bad boy right here it's like a grayish material it's glossed over but it still has some texture to it this is going to go in our downstairs bathroom on the tub surround when you first work in the property there's a bathroom to the left and this will be on the walls of that tub i'm going to be laid in like a brick pattern so kind of like this right here this is the exact brick that we're using and the grout color is going to be a little bit like off gray darker gray slash white but for this one we're getting 80 square feet which brings our price to 666 dollars for this specific tile this is our black natural slate tile it's 99 cents per piece around 45 dollars per box for this project in frederick i'm going with this in the laundry room as you can see it's like this ashy black natural looking stone we might end up putting a sealer over top of it just to give it a little bit of sheen but this in total is going to cost us around 544 dollars for 100 square feet for our laundry room and actually i kind of like this tile because it's, it's got like this really ancient kind of look to it, like a real natural color, natural texture to it. And in the historic home that we're flipping, obviously you want to keep the natural colors and natural feels and natural tones to the property. And with us going with the French design on this house, that's pretty much what it entails. Natural colors, natural textures, natural feels to it. So we're doing a lot of brick in the property, exposing some brick, but also we want to keep the textures to the property as well. So keeping the rough feel to it is ideal for what we're going through. All right, so next up we got the Dove Gray Glossy Ceramic Tile. This is a three by 12. This is gonna go in our guest bathroom floor. It'll be laid in the herringbone style, which is like that offset chevron type look. But for this tile specifically, it costs 89 cents per piece. And we need about 45 square feet of this. So in total for the flooring in the guest bathroom, we're gonna be spending $185 on this tile. Now I like this tile a lot because it's got some gloss to it. So like I mentioned on some of the other videos, we're using a natural look on some of the tile and the ceramic stoning that we're using. But for this being a gloss look, it kind of offsets the, um, the natural look with a more modern finish. But the color of it is nice because we're going with a black vanity in that bathroom along with a black vanity light up top. But all the accents in the property in that bathroom specifically, but also on the tub, will all be a brass and a gold finish. So it'll pop very nice. It'll look elegant. It'll also look a little bit historic, which is the look that we're going for in this property. So we're going with this one. All right, so we're going with eight boxes of this to give us the 45 square feet that we need. And lucky for us, it's the last eight boxes that this location had. So as you can see, I got a whole cart full of tile. This thing probably weighs like a thousand pounds right now, but your boy been in the gym, so it shouldn't be an issue to push him. And this is box eight. On to the next one. <sighs> Do some sled pushes. <laughs> so next up, we got a Crema Antiqua tumbled Tavertine tile. Say that four times. All right, but this one here is 69 cents per piece, and we need around 45 square feet. And this is gonna go in our mudroom as soon as you walk into the property from the side entrance. This will be laid in another herringbone style, which looks like this, kind of offset like that, on the floors as you walk in. So again, 
keeping the natural stone look to the property, um, but adding a little twist to it was just how we're gonna lay the tile. And on this, we're gonna need to buy a total of $266 worth of this specific ceramic tile itself. So add it to the total. All right, so because I'm driving a sedan, I can't fit all this damn tile in my car. So we're doing what's called a storage buy, which is like layaway. So I'll buy them now, put them aside, and have my contractor come and pick them up in his truck and bring them to the house. 1500 and we're not done yet. We still gotta buy a mortar and like a handful of other other tile. All right, so that wraps up our walkthrough in Florida Decor. Today we bought over $1,500 worth of tiling for this property in Frederick, and we still have another maybe about five to $600 to still buy. So I'm gonna head up to another Florida Decor up the street to see if they have the rest of the items that we need. But today was really all about just showing you guys what kind of flooring we're getting for this property, why we're getting it, the benefits to them, the downsides to them. Um, ultimately the price of them because I want you guys to understand how much it costs to buy these items for your properties. So if you found any value from this video, please like, share, subscribe, follow. Most importantly, run the plan. Let's get it.